Chris Hansen has our latest investigation, and again, we want to warn you that some of it is explicit. A man who made a date online for sex with a young girl has shown up earlier than expected. Yes, yeah, slowing down, pulling in the driveway. Emily, you ready? Yeah, I'm ready to go. We've hired a young-looking 19-year-old to play the part of a young girl, a decoy who will invite the men in. You made it. Ooh, you brought me something. There he is. Oh, 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 he's coming in. To give you an idea why he might be here, take a look at what he said online. His screen name is too graphic to use. He says, I can't control my horny level. Then he says, I want to blank your brains out. I can't help it. He thinks he's here to meet a 13-year-old virgin named Nina. He seems at ease with her, even though he's in a strange house talking to someone he's never met in person before. And then I come out. So you had quite the commute today, huh? Why don't you have a seat there and uh, get comfortable for that? What are you doing here today? No, I need you to stay in the, the chair, please. Why'd you come here today? Did you bring any wine with you? Or did you bring condoms? You're saying it's normal to have sex with a 13 year old girl? He says he really wasn't going to do anything with her, but his chat log seems to say otherwise. I take it you're a virgin. Not you. I'm reading from the conversation between you and Natasha. He tells the decoy, I must warn you, I am kind of big down there, and asks her if she wants to see. Then he sends a photo album, 12 pictures of his genitals. Do you send pictures like that very often? Talking to a 13-year-old saying, you got to be careful. Why? There are a lot of sexual predators out there. Predators. You say, I feel like kissing you now. I masturbate twice a day. Remember, my blank is big. You want me to slide that in your blank? Is there any other meaning for that? He never answers that question. Well, there's something I got to tell you. I'm Chris Hansen with Dateline NBC, and we're doing a story on adults who try to meet teens online. Now, everything you've just said has been recorded with our hidden cameras. The problem is, you left the pretend world of the computer internet and came here to the real world to meet a 13-year-old girl. Now, you know that's against the law, right? Is it loneliness? Is it something that you have tried to get help for in the past? Why would you risk so much for this one time and time?